Mr. Dirkenloft here on Zephix Education, and today we're going to be having an After Effects tutorial on the Wiggle Effect intro. So basically, let's just do a rent preview and show you guys what's going on out here. And let's press the play button. So you get this effect that's like, you know, 2D. It's kind of a 2D effect intro. So it's you get a wiggle and a CC lens kind of in there. So let's get started by doing a new composition. Um, just have your background white and have your, yeah, just have my settings 30. You can cut the intro off whenever you want. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to trash this real quick. Delete. Delete. And we'll keep you in here. All right, so now that you're done that, you just want to go text and you want to type in your... Uh, I'm going to size it up a little bit. Mr. Mr. Dirk and Loft. So you want to type in your text. Alright, now, once you're done with that, I'm just going to make a new text tool here. And Oops, my bad. Just edit and do that real quick. Okay, you put down your, your text to about right there. www.youtube.com slash Mr. Birkenlaw. Alright, now that's done, so now you just want to click this button and you just want to, you know, bring this down a little bit, and if you want to, you can bring that down. Okay, looks good. Now that you're done with that, you want to bring in your image. So I have a Steve, since I am very much into Minecraft, that's what my channel is mostly. I am very Minecraft heavy on my channel. Um. So we'll just go like this. Yeah, and we'll move you over just a little bit. Oops. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to click... Oops, my bad, I'm going to have that like that. Now you want to click on Mr. Dirkenloft, your main text. You want to Reflect, Distort, CC Lens. Now with the CC Lens, you want to go to zero, and you just want to click on this little button down here. You want to go to Effects. CC lens. Use my bed. Sorry, I'm having really troubles here moving my mouse. So now you want to hit this little key time key time watch key frame button. You put it down to zero. Now you want to go to about five seconds, and you just want to bulk that thing all the way to 500. See now is where you want to change this if you haven't already changed it to about so you can have your, your second range. All right. Now that you're done with that, you just want to click up with this. Now I want to go down to this one. Or click on this text, my bad. You want to click on the YouTube text, and you just want to click on CC Lens again. It'll already be there and there up here, so it'll already be here, hopefully. And you want to go down to Effects, you want to CC Lens, and you want to go to about half a second. Half a second's good. Hit that stopwatch button. Go to zero. Go to about five and a half. Ish, and you just want to all the way to 500. Now that that's done, you just want to click up on this little button again and click on this bad boy and do the same thing. Except for you just want to have follow my time, like where I have my time limits, my time switches, whatever. Alright, now you just want to go back to one second. And there's a reason why they're all like, they're all in different times so you don't get different messed up. Give me one. I want one second exactly on the dot. Alright, now you're at one, so you just want to go all the way down to zero. Oops, my bad. And you just want to hit the time, the time botch. So now you want to go to six seconds. You want to have about five seconds to allow that thing to do its thing. And then you just want to go all the way to 500. Alright, so now as we preview this, I mean, it looks kind of dull. To be honest, it's looking very dull. Now, if you really want to, you can switch up your keyframes and you can switch it up so it goes faster. I personally like it very slow. It, it gives more of effect to it, more of a tutorial kind of effect, a, an intro kind of thing. Um, now you want to go to, uh, let me think here, layer, new, null object, like that. That gave me the right one, right? No, oh, my bad. That gave me shape layer. 
just uh here, let me just do this real quick undo undo all right so as you want to go to layer new null object and you have your null one now you want to go to layer new camera and basically you can just press ok um you get a screen popping up i don't really know it just it's fine it's good it's all good all in good times so now you want to press p click on the camera and press p now you want to want now you want to hold alt and you want to click on this little time watch thing now let's bring this up and you want to type in wiggle parentheses or left parentheses and you want to type in five comma two no spaces on anything and then a right parentheses do exactly what i did right here and you should be good to go now you just click out of it and you're good and now we can ramp preview and you can see it as it is a shake it's kind of got a little shake in there shake your bacon um hold on a second here i need to fix my dirty mock i don't like that yeah i'm gonna fix you by sizing you down all right okay now it's looking good um if you really want to, you can mess around with it a little bit. Um, sometimes I like to have it at 7. Oops, my bad. And you can just click on that and just ramp preview it. And that's the, what the thing is right there is how it like moves. And what that should do is... Boom. Hold on a second here. See if I did this right. Otherwise, I just want to make sure that you guys know that I'm doing this right. Undo change value. Alright, okay. Now we're going to go back here. My bad. I think I messed up on this one just a little tiny bit. Because I for completely forgot about this time little thing here. That's why we weren't seeing the wiggle effect. Um... Hold Alt, press on the stopwatch, and just type in wiggle like you did before, and just go to 5, 2. And yeah, and you can just go like that and ramp preview. I think that should give it that effect that I'm looking for here. Yeah, it looks good. Um, Now, what you want to do is you want to take this little button right here. Cool. Like that you want to go to camera okay now you want to go here to null here to null and here to null all three of them to null and now you want to go like this now you get that good nice little effect see it shaking shaking like bacon when it's hot on the frying pan <sighs> yum all right, there you guys go. Um, here, let me stop this for a second. So, you guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe to myself and to Zephix Education because you know they work really hard on their channels, and I just provide them videos. Um, and to follow me on Twitter, you guys, because you know I don't have much of a Twitter fan base. I'd like more of it so you guys can keep up with my updates, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, like, peace, dog. Have fun with your whatever night you're on, because today it's Saturday night, so peace.